Milan was a setting for the 21st occasion that the Giro d'Italia would end with a time trial. A three-star stage, still 30.3 kilometres to ride, with the Maglia Rosa and second place separated by just less than two minutes. Egan Bernal started the final day in the pink jersey. His task was to hold on. A flat time trial with plenty of corners left and right in the first two thirds, two time checks along the way, and a finish in Milan's famous Piazza Duomo right in front of the cathedral. Filippo Ganna was the man to watch. The stage win on paper should have been his. World time trial champion having won the four previous Giro d'Italia time trials that we'd had. And today wouldn't disappoint either. That despite a late problem. Ganna going out and with one and a half Ks left having a puncture, but a quick bike change would save the day. The world champion ready to make it five out of five. Only the second one at this race after there had been three time trials the year before. Ganna, to this moment, unbeaten in a Grand Tour time trial. Eduardo Affini came in in second place, 12 seconds down. He'd been one of the names, alongside Remy Cavagna, who on paper should have threatened Ganna. Cavagna was looking good, in fact, the French champion, until this happened. An absolute disaster. It would have been extremely tight on the line, 500 metres to go. Again, quick on his bike. That's what he thought about it. Cavagna coming across in second place, 12 seconds down. Who knows how it would have gone. Ganna still the leader for the moment, but he had to wait a long while while the GC contenders did their thing. Bernal, Caruso and Yates, separated by just under three and a half minutes at the start of the day. But there were changes elsewhere in the top 10. Martinez moving up, Almeida putting in a wonderful ride as well. Yates stayed where he was. He'd lose time to second place instead of gaining it. Caruso would finish strong and gain time on the overall winner. But nobody would stop Egan Bernal from coming home to win the Giro d'Italia. Arms aloft in Milan and in the nation where he came to make his pro debut. Bernal from Colombia in his adopted home of Italy, winning the Giro at the first attempt. That sent the Colombian fans crazy. Ganna the stage winner, Ineos Grenadiers taking four stage wins of the 21. And just like they did the year before, the Maglia Rosa. Ganna winning by 12 seconds from Cavagna. Affini finishing in third at 13 with Sobrero and Almeida in the top five. The final podium looked like that. Caruso on it, Yates there too, and Bernal lifting the Trofeo Senza Fine. 1 minute 29, his final margin of victory over Caruso, who finishes on a Grand Tour podium for the first time. Yates in the meantime back on a Grand Tour podium for the first time since he won the Vuelta. That's how the top 10 looked. Peter Sagan would take the Maglia Ciclamino for the first time in his career, just his second appearance at the Giro. He celebrated in style. Bouchard becoming the first Frenchman to win the King of the Mountains at the Giro since 1984 and Laurent Fignon. And the white jersey, the best young rider, of course, going to the Giro winner, Egan Bernal. Milan again became serene at the end of a Giro that entertained and enthralled. That's the first Grand Tour of the year done. More to come at the Tour and the Vuelta. For now, though, Ineos Grenadiers have their prize. Egan Bernal wins the Giro d'Italia.